How y'all doing today? This is a video on my wind turbine tire setup. Got a few people ask me questions. Right here is how that thing is put together. And you got one bolt there, that's a pivot bolt. And that bolt right there, you pull out, and there's a backstop. Right there, when you're winching it up. And you pull that bolt out right here, and the whole thing will pivot down. Let's see. And there she is in the backstop. And it will go down in that, that direction. Past the water faucet, past this. And go down in destruction and it'll land about right in here. She's 20 foot. There she is. I made some mods to my tail. Tail fin. Just it just it helps out with the you know trees and everything around. That's the 24 volt wind max. And that's the wind max slash sweet with the modified tail for uh, 500 watt 48 volt and that's the um, 24 volt 500 500 max 400 watt either or but yeah I got tail modifications turn up pretty good put the top in right there trace it out and made the bottom piece look, look just like it and you can talk barely, and I, dr I just drilled it, and with a, uh, I think it was an eighth inch, one eighth inch um, holes, about four of them, and these pop rivets. Uh, I would have welded it, but what it is, I didn't want to, I just didn't feel like breaking the MIG welder out. That way I can always take it off if I don't like it. But yeah, here she is. Those blades are barely spinning. Those are, those are four, excuse me, five foot. I'll say they're actually like five foot three inch, five foot four inch blades. Wind max blades. But they do a great job. Like I say, max at wind max. And there's my tail fin. And if you see up closer, the pop rivets. Right there. And I trace around the back side of that the stock tail and made it like it is. But it turned out real good. And that was a eighth inch no three thirty two uh galvanized plate steel that I had off off one of the jobs off one of my jobs at work. Great stuff. And that blade that uh tail fin is actually um carbon steel also. It's not aluminum, it's carbon steel. Anyway, anyway, another answer to your question, how did I, uh, okay, that's reason, this is the reason why I don't have any guy wires. This is going into my building, through my studs right here, of God wire, I mean, instead of God wire. Oops, I don't know what happened there. Okay. Anyway, we'll keep going here. Anyway, the... Went through these lag bolts, uh, four inch lag bolts, going to my studs. And this channel comes out right here. And that is a standstill U bolt, going through my channel. And there she goes. It's right there. All I'll do, and that's going up about eight, eight feet up. And does a heck of a job. I just let them out. Then I. Let those out, then I uh, can drop my whole tire now. Okay, and that that's it for that part of it. Okay, well, y'all have a great one, y'all. Thank you for watching. And that's the wind turbine tire on my uh, north. Excuse me, yeah, my uh, north end of the building. Yeah, there she goes. Anyway. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that's how, how, she, how, the, how it is. My camera, my, uh, kind of messed up on me a little bit, but that's all right. But anyway, there is, like I say, my channel. 
right here. And that's how I got it going on this, this side. And same thing back here. Okay, same thing back here. This tower is the same way as the front one. Except I got it going the opposite direction. There is my backstop right there. There's my pullout bolt there. And that's my, my pivot bolt where it, the, the whole tower will come down. And this right here, I pull that bolt out right there. And as I go up the tower, that's where I got it mounted. My standoff pole up there, my outrigger pole. And I got exhaust clamps, stainless steel exhaust clamps. Got a sandwich to that, so we're not going anywhere. But you know, that's only good for like 18 to 20 foot towers. Anything higher than that, I'd recommend gut wires. But since I got it up and building, and I got it reinforced pretty good. <laughs> Two by sixes and going through my studs and huge lag bolts. So yeah, just the best way you want to do it. All right, let's go inside. I'll show you what kind of power we made today so far. With these old dueling wind turbines. It's doing good. Got some good wind today. All right, yeah, these are bigger blades than in my, oh, I got on my stock uh, four slash 500 watt wind max. And this is also 48 volt. And different kind of setup there. Yeah, it's got the weld well on type uh, pole mount, and that is the um, collar type of mount. Let's see if we got them. Yeah, collar type mount, and that's the weld welded on version here. So yeah, I just add a little more tail. Helps helps a lot in, in, in the you know the tree areas and the wind, but that's doing good. And these are. These are really loud turbines, aren't they, y'all? <laughs> All right, let's go inside. I'll show you what the watch fuse is doing. Solar is kind of real cloudy today. It's the conditions. Ain't a whole lot of much going on at all today. There's my Davis Vantage View. Going to town. My battery's getting low. Oh, heck. All right, make it quick. All right. Okay. Okay, let me see here, y'all. Okay, today we produced 46 watt hours so far. Okay, chart. Chart. Okay. 80 watts. Um, so far, I mean, that's just earlier. That's 80 watt. And it's logging. Let's see, we. Woo! 360. Okay. 20 amps. If y'all can see that. Let's see. 20 amps is what we produce today. I'm just 20. 18 and a half, almost 19 amps, excuse me. And uh, that, that, that was off. That was a, at around 13, 15. And we had a gust of wind. Let's see here. Maximum wind speed was 19 mile an hour. That's a 19 mile an hour wind. That's if both turbines were kicking. That's Sammy Watts we produced. Oh, holy moly. 500 watts. That's the two turbines. 500 watts we produced. So, and they're at, you know, this just depends. And there it says, there it is right there. It says 500 watts. This this is right on the money. Oh, look, at, look at that data we collected today. Man, I, I tell you one thing. This thing is, what's watts for you is the ticket. If you got wind turbines and you want to see what you're actually making, 19 amps and 500 watts, 
and like I say, we'll give you the readout. Okay, that's the chart. That's what we did within the past um, um, 15 minutes or so. And here's the readout. As I showed you in my other videos. But 46 watt hours so far. That's kicking. Okay, y'all. Thank you for watching. And uh, we had not did much today, but... That's the, another thing there, dude, it's good to have the kilowatt hour meter for your uh, on renewable energy. That thing kicks. <clears throat> All right, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching, y'all. All right. Talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.